Hey, I'm Eric Triplett, The Pond Digger, and today we're in the middle of an orange grove in Redlands, California. What I have here is a third acre pond. It's an agricultural pond, actually. We're going to use the water from here to irrigate everything around the property. Today we're going to install an aeration system on it to help keep the water clear and healthy and free of algae. But before I dive in, I wanted to talk to you about the importance of having an air system on all ponds, both big and small. So whether you have a big pond like this, medium-sized ornamental pond or a whiskey barrel full of water in your backyard, the best thing you can do is you can add air to it. When you add air bubbles to that pond, you take the bottom water, you send it to the top, it circulates it, total new dynamic in the whole feature. Not only are the fish are going to love it, the plants are going to love it, and most importantly, the beneficial bacteria that are colonizing in the ponds, helping keep things crystal clear, they're going to love it too. And for pennies a day, your pond's going to look better than ever. So this is where the diffuser is going to be connected to this. What we're going to do is we're going to fill it with sand. There's a little hole right here. We're going to fill it with sand. That way when we get it into the middle of the pond, it sinks to the bottom. Okay, on this kit we're using 3 8 weighted tubing. Now, when you're going to pick a kit, you're going to be looking at the difference between non-weighted tubing and weighted tubing. Of course, you can see the thick wall here. It's very durable. This is the weighted tubing. Throw this in the pond, it sinks right to the bottom. Now this is the non-weighted tubing. You can see it can get kinked. You can bend it right in half. I'm going to show you that. And if you throw this in the pond, it floats across the pond. And imagine this with air in it, it's just going to look like a giant snake in there. Unless you get, take the time to hide it underneath the rock work or in the bottom of the pond, uh, this is not a very good choice. So spend the extra money and get the weighted tubing and do it right the first time. Okay, what we have here is our rocking piston unit here. This is going to drive all the air to the bottom of the pond. This is our pressure relief valve, and we're going to connect our weighted tubing to this guy here and send it out to the bottom of the pond. And right here we have our, our little air filter, if you will. It's going to protect this pump from sucking in uh, sand and dust and such. Thanks for watching!